हेलो यूट्यूब दिस इज हर्ष पंडित गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो मैनी पीपल हैव टोल्ड मी अबाउट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बी पी एस के टॉपिक विच इज़ बाइनरी फेस शिफ्ट की सो आई हैव मेड अ स्लाइड प्रेजेंटेशन पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन इट एंड आई एम गोन शो यू डैट एंड आई एम गोन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ टीच यू डैट डैट थिंग हेयर इट गोज दिस माई प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन बी पी एस के मॉडुलेशन टेक्निक डिजिटल मॉडुलेशन टेक्निक वॉट एक्चुअली इज द कॉज ऑफ डिजिटल मॉडुलेशन वी हैव सीन अर्लियर डेट देर इज एनालॉग मॉडुलेशन सो सीन वेल ट्रांसमिटिंग द डिजिटल डेटा वी हैव टू मॉड्यूलेट इट सो एज वी कैन ट्रांसमिट इट टू फार डिस्टेंस सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग डिजिटल मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डेट्स वाई इट कम्स द नीड ऑफ डिजिटल मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक्स एंड वी कैन टेक द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजिटल मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एम्पलीट्यूड शिफ्ट किंग फेस शिफ्ट किंग एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी शिफ्ट किंग दिज आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बेसिक टाइप ऑफ शिफ्ट किंग्स विच आर मॉड्यूलेशन टेक वन ऑफ द डिजिटल मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक दैन वॉट इज एम्पलीट्यूड शिफ्ट किंग ए एस के वी कैन से इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म ए एस के इज द फॉर्म ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन डेट रिप्रेजेंट्स डिजिटल डेटा एज द वेरिएशन ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ कैरियर वे एज यू कैन सी द डेफिनेशन इट सेल्फ सीज डेट वाइल we can modulate the, any digital signal by changing as zero have less amplitude and one have greater amplitude we can modulate the carrier wave like this for example you can see here this the third one the third uh, third waveform you can see is my data which is some sort of 1101001010 and that like that and now in second one this is band limited signal which is uh, you can see that uh, these are some slopes kind of thing because this is band limited so that's a slopey thing and then when we multiply it with the carrier signal what we get is while you can see that uh, at the time while the digital there is a digital zero in our signal which we have to modulate you can see there is no amplitude ha uh, you can see very less amplitude because that's noise and uh, that kind of thing so there is very less amplitude and while one while we are transmitting the one so we can see the maximum output there of the maximum amplitude amplitude we can say maximum amplitude so this is the main ttl message the lowest one is ttl message the second one is band limited and ask is the amplitude shift key uh, which is uh, which we have to send now what is phase shift key like we have seen that amplitude shift king is the change of amplitude if you have to change the amplitude in this type of digital modulation technique so same as here in phase shift king we change the phase of any dig uh, digital while modulating any digital circuit so phase shift king psk is a digital modulation scheme that conveys data by changing or modulating the phase of the carrier wave For example, here my data is one zero zero one like that. So you can see below one, we have some kind of uh, sine wave or cos wave. You can say, and when it uh, transfer from uh, when it changes its uh, one to zero, higher level to lower level. At that that ex exact position, we can see there is a one eighty degree shift in phase. So this is a phase shift king. While changing from zero to zero, there is no change actually from zero to zero. But while moving from zero to zero, there is no change you can see. But while again moving from zero to one, there is a shift of one eighty degrees. That is called phase shift king. So while uh, receiving this signal, we can see that uh, the transmitter uh, receiver will check that uh, what the phase is and it will check the phase. so that it can again demodulate uh, demodulate the carrier wave into the digital signal for example here 0100 above is given a carrier which is a sine wave second one that is modulating wave which is a digital signal 0100 and what we get modulated result is that one has a 180 degree phase shift you can see there in the second wave and of the second second wave form you can see there is a 180 degree phase shift so this is the change from 0 to 1 and again while changing from 1 to 0 there is a 180 degree phase shift the types of phase shift king 
there are many types of phase shift keying for example we can take that uh, binary phase shift keying bpsk which is my main topic which we i will do next quadrature phase shift keying which have quadrature means four and that all that are four types of phases differential phase shift keying that is dpsk now binary phase shift keying bpsk matter bpsk it is also sometimes called as uh, prk which is phase reversal keying i will tell you why or it is also called as 2 psk because it has two phases which is uh, you can see here in uh, qi diagram there is 1 and 0 for 1 it is plus 90 and for 0 is it's it is minus 90 which turns to be difference by 180 degree there are two phases so it is called as 2 psk and why it is called phase reversal keying because while changing from 0 to 1 it reverses it phase by 180 degree so it is also known as prk which is phase reversal keying bpsk transmitter is uh, here is a block diagram of a transmitter of bpsk we are giving a pulse of 0 to plus v voltage plus v is represented by 1 in digital and 0 is 0 but while modulating our carrier wave is from minus v to plus v after modulation it should be minus v to plus v our any sine wave and that all oscillator carrier which is from oscillator it is from minus v to plus v so we have to convert our digital data from minus v to plus v so we shift our level uh, we have to convert our level of 0 to minus v so there is used a level converter in the input after the data input is given to le uh, level converter it changes the level of 0 and plus v plus v volts to minus v volts and plus v volts now this minus v to plus v wave digital wave is sent into the balance modulator at the same time carrier oscillator uses a buffer and sends a carrier to balance modulator where the carrier is multiplied with the level converter and what is psk takes place here now when it passes through balance mod modulator for plus v it gives the positive Uh, or we can say plus 90 plus 90 degrees phase shift and for minus v it gives minus 90 degree of phase shift for sometimes we can also take plus v as a plus 180 degree phase shift and minus v as 0 degree phase shift at that depends on our balance modulator or what the technique we are using in a transmitter bpsk transmitter so after that it passes through a band pass filter which limits it to the band and uh, neglects the second Uh, second wave forms of uh, this uh, which uh, we can calculate mathematically so here we get modulated psk output here you can say balance modulator what we are using in balance modulator is a ring modulator here you can see a carrier input on the left side on the right side you can see modulated psk output here where we are giving carriers it is the input we have to modulate the carrier according to the input so input binary codes are given from below and one terminal is made ground for example when we give input binary code as plus v voltage so we get carrier input so d3 and d4 will be reverse biased at this time so this will not work and only d1 and d2 will work so we can get plus sin omega t waveform but in case of um, opposite minus v d1 and d2 or it will not work and d3 and d4 will work so we will get minus sin omega t or cos omega t here is a matlab simulated waveform of bpsk modulation you can see there is 180 degree phase shift while uh, while moving from 1 to 0 this was done by mean on matlab i have tried it on matlab so here it is i have proved it Bale, uh, bpsk receiver now bpsk receiver we have to receive the wave from earlier we have transmitted that so there is used a band pass filter which passes the particular band of signal there there is a coherent carrier recovery recovery block which is used for carrier recovery which show, which originally recovers the carrier and there uses balance modulator after multiplying it with the our uh, received wave form after multiplying carrier with the received wave form we get the original digital our original digital signal but with many harmonics second harmonic and third harmonic which we can calculate them mathematical so there is used is low pass filter which removes the second harmonic and so on now after that there is a block of clock recovery which 
shift uh, which find out the clock from our recovered data uh, we can say now we can say digital data which have level of minus v and plus v voltage and there you we use a level converter which converts its level to zero volts to plus volt volt plus v volts so now we get original data in general form bpsk follows the equation like this this is just a mathematical equation where sn represent any signal at time t and ev is the energy of signal cos is the our carrier waveform 2 pi fct is uh, fc is the frequency of carrier waveform and t is the time period pi 1 minus n this is the phase and n is 0 and 1 0 for uh, low voltage and plus v voltage one zero we can say minus v voltage this yields to two phases zero and five in the specific form binary data is often conveyed with the following signal so we can uh, calculate we will place the value zero y uh, on n so we can get pi pi is plus 180 degrees so as i said uh, before that it can be plus 180 degrees and zero degree so we can say for zero it is Plus pi and for one there is no pi like term there so phase is zero so there are two phases zero and pi which has very different phase difference of 180 degrees here is a sim simulated waveform of BS BPSK modulation demod demodulation both so you can see the third one first and second uh, you you can get to know this I already told earlier and the third one is our uh, transmitted signal this is our transmitted signal contains lot of noise kind of thing so after uh, while demodulating it after passing it to the carrier recovery and balance modulator in the receiver end we get the waveform like the fourth one you can see the figure fourth one uh, which has some kind of slopes it's it's not perfectly a digital data so we use a carrier um, uh, we use a, cl a clock input and level shifters and low pass filter to filter it and bring it to uh, bring it to the uh, waveform like that in the fifth diagram you can see it's uh, some kind of uh, some kind same like the above one uh, there can be errors some errors you, you can see some errors are there all right bandwidth of mpsk m is uh, like uh, how many phases are there so m is 2 for bpsk m is 4 for qpsk which is quadrature uh, phase shift king and there are many there can be many the lot many of phases can be there so there can be number of psks so here you can see the dark line line resembles 2 psk so what is 2 psk this is the bandwidth it means the 2 psk while using bpsk we have large bandwidth consumption so that is not good for us and uh, while using 4 psk we have less less bandwidth conversion and while using 8 psk we have more less bandwidth consumption so we can say that uh, as the am increases bandwidth decreases and it's good for us that bandwidth decreases here is just uh, basic some diagrams which uh, which shows the amplitude shifting ask psk and fsk so you can see in psk there is 180 180 degree phase shift in all the three diagram you can see that there is 180 degree phase shift when there is change from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and in frequency shift king there is a change in frequency and for amplitude shift king there is a change in amplitude for 1 0 and 0 1 hey what about noise yes there uh, someone will ask about that that there will be some noise or not i will say yes there is noise that is called bit error rate ber the transmitted waveform get corrupted by the noise typically referred to as adaptive white gaussian noise awgn adaptive is noise noise which is in air gets added to it it is not multiplied to it it added to the receiver signal so it can easily removed the white white stands for the spectrum of noise it falls for all frequency there are lot of the frequency of noise which are which have a spectrum and they they, they just go uh, get added to the to our waveform waveform or we can say modulated signal or information uh, our signal which have uh, our information signal which we have modulated in gaussian the values of uh, noise follows a gaussian probability distribution this is some sort of mathematical calculation for the gaussian pulse uh, like uh, gaussian noise 
why bpsk why we use bpsk right question it is simple to implement inefficient use of bandwidth very robust used ex extensively in satellite communication it was used earlier now there are many many kind of psks or uh, you can say uh, modulation technique which are used easy easily and mostly the conclusion i will come to conclusion the psk is a modulation technique in which the phase of carrier wave changes as per the input data yes that is correct the phase changes as per the input data is given for one it is plus 180 degree and for zero it is zero degrees you can say plus pi and zero we have seen in the mathematical calculations mathematical equations and bpsk is a single dimension as we saw in qi diagram and by using multi dimension technique we can modulate more noise immune wave form so uh, that was getting some noise when we saw the five uh, waves of modulation and demodulation together so it was getting some noise so it can be removed by using multi dimension techniques like BP, uh, 4 psk or 8 psk so you can post any question in comments or uh, you can post just uh, mail me thank you